Hi, and welcome to this live reading from Andrew's Armor by Jill Monaco. And this is presented by Itsy Bitsy Book Bits. Andrew was just a baby when his parents bought him a toy chest and filled it with wonderful things. His mommy and daddy made him laugh by making silly faces and sounds. Giggling, Andrew let out a small but mighty roar. You are very courageous, Andrew, said his daddy. When Andrew was bigger, he crawled to the toy chest, pulled himself up and took everything out. He found dinosaurs, trucks, balls, building blocks, and more. As he got older, new things mysteriously appeared in Andrew's toy chest. He found a sword, helmet, shield, belt, breastplate, and some really big boots. The helmet was so big that it covered most of his face. The sword was as long as Andrew was tall. The boots, they came up to his knees. Andrew thought his armor was awesome and made him strong. He flexed his muscles in the mirror and said, I am a warrior. One day, Andrew decided to sneak up on his parents. He thought they wouldn't recognize him. At just the right time, he let out a big, loud roar. His parents exclaimed, you are so brave and strong. Years went by and Andrew's friends came over to play. He put on the special armor that made him feel courageous. They went on adventures around the backyard kingdom. They climbed a tree to look for enemies. They fought the dragon and rescued the princess. And they hunkered down in the fort to rest. Andrew felt like a true warrior when he felt when he wore his armor. As Andrew and his friend ran around the backyard, Andrew tripped and fell. He scraped his knee and started to cry. You're not a brave warrior, teased his friend. Andrew wondered if he was right. Maybe he wasn't courageous, brave, or strong. That night, Andrew put his armor away. He thought it wasn't special, after all. He tossed the different pieces into the toy chest and closed the lid. He moped around the house with his head hanging down. He tried to kick a ball, race his cars, or build a fort. Yet nothing seemed to make him feel better. A few days later, Andrew's armor was sitting outside his toy chest. As he got closer to investigate, he saw a sticky note on the nearby mirror. It said, You are fearfully and wonderfully made. The next day, Andrew found a new note. It read, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. The day after that, there was another note. It said, Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God. Andrew asked his mommy if she was putting the notes on his mirror. No, she said, shaking her head. Every day when Andrew woke up, he rushed to the mirror to read a new message. The note would tell him how courageous, brave, and strong he was. This was his favorite part of the day. One time, catching his reflection in the water, he had a new thought. I feel like a warrior today, and I haven't even put my armor on. Andrew got dressed in his armor again and looked for ways to use his courage, bravery, and strength. When Andrew's sister lost her favorite doll, he searched high and low until he found it for her. She was super grateful and gave him a big hug. When his friend apologized for making fun of him, Andrew forgave him. They continued their warrior adventures and won more battles against their mortal enemy. When the elderly neighbor, Ruth, struggled to carry her groceries, Andrew offered to help. The smile on her face made his heart grow 
10 times stronger. Eventually, Andrew outgrew his armor and began to pack it away in his memory box. His father walked into his room and asked, Why the long face? Andrew explained that he had such good memories with his armor, and he liked the daily notes that showed up too. His father said, Son, you can always put on your spiritual armor. It's the kind of strength that is inside you. It grows as you learn to serve others. You are strong when you are kind to your little sister. You are brave when you forgive someone. You are courageous when you lend a helping hand to those in need. Andrew smiled. Whenever you need strength, I want you to remember who you are and who I say you are. Remember what you learned. Think like me and then you'll see like me. No one can change the truth of how courageous, brave, and strong you are in my eyes, said his father. Years later, Andrew was all grown up with a house and family of his own. Of course, his very special armor was there too. One day, his son found the helmet in the toy chest, put it on, and let out a little roar. As Andrew and his wife watched their son laughing and playing, Andrew said, This armor has many adventures waiting for you, but the best adventure is discovering that the Lord God is your strength.